everyone, my name is Lena Samakno and welcome back or welcome to the Rathbone University YouTube channel. Today I bring you a very exciting topic, one of my favorites, concerts. So if you didn't already know, I study arts and culture and a lot of arts and culture focuses on music. We actually even have a assignment where we have to go to a concert and analyze the experience musically and industrially, I don't know, like the capitalist business side of it, um, for one of our courses, America on Record. So today I will be giving you sort of a guide to the main four concert venues, halls that you can find in Amsterdam. So I will be talking about Melkweg, which translates to Milky Way, and I will be talking about Afas, um, or Afas Life, and I'm going to talk about Paradiso, and I will be talking about the Ziggo Dome, or like the Ziggo, I don't really know how the Dutch people pronounce it, but I'm going to call it Ziggo for the sake of this video. Um, so let me just break down the four different venues for you. So Melkweg is very much an alternative type of place. Um, the venues are much smaller than all the rest and usually the artists that go to places like Melkweg are hmm, sort of on like the up-and-coming rising level. They have a large following but not into the millions yet. They do everything from pop to rap to rock, so you will definitely get your taste of your favorite up-and-coming or indie um, act. And then we have Paradiso. Paradiso is sort of like an elevated Melkweg. It's kind of the same, but the people that go there tend to be even more indie, yet have a larger following, if that makes sense. I watched Vance Joy at Paradiso. I watched um, the internet at Paradiso, and the venue is great because I think it used to be a church or a chapel of some sorts, and there is, um, what do you call it, glass stained, what, yes, stained glass, <laughs> stained glass windows at the back of the stage, so sometimes the artists will like put light to it and then it'll illuminate them from behind like a glowing halo. Ziggo is probably the largest, I think it is actually the largest uh, concert hall that exists in the Netherlands and Ziggo usually has the huge stars like classics, people like John Mayer, people like... I went to Harry Styles. Sometimes they also have comedians. I watched Trevor Noah's show there. And Afos is kind of like a less elevated Ziggo. So there's a level to all of them. I watched um, Macklemore and Khalid at, Z at Afos, if that gives you any indication. All right, so now I'm gonna give you a sort of guide to get there. Basically, if you live in the Nijmegen area, which I assume you do, um, you will have to go to the train station and then take a train to Amsterdam first if you're going to Melkweg or Paradiso. So they're both located around the same area within the same street. They're walking distance from each other. And that is located at Leidseplein. L-E-I-D-S-E-P-L-E-I-N. <laughs> but if you type in Melkweg or Paradiso on your 9292 app, which you should have on your phone, that's just a general um, tip, you should be able to find. So you will go to Amsterdam Central first and then you will take a tram to Leidseplein. And then from there you can walk to either Melkweg or Paradiso, wherever you need to be. And for Afas Life and Paradi no, Ziggo Dome, all the names are jumbling up in my head already, those two are also within walking distance from each other. Um, and you will be able to take the train that goes to Amsterdam Central just straight to the Amsterdam Arena. Um, if you type in Sigo or 
off us, it should also lead you there. Um, so that means you don't have to stop by at Amsterdam Central first, you can just stay in your train and go directly there. Um, next, where to buy your tickets. Um, I recommend downloading this app on your phone called Bands in Town. Um, you will have to give up your location and they will alert you and send you notifications every time there is an artist that correlates with your iTunes, Spotify, or whatever else type of music platform you have. You can also just choose names of artists that you're interested in and then they will calculate like the people that are associated with those artists or bands um, and they'll alert you every time there's a new show, every time there's a new show in your area you can get the direct link to where you can buy the tickets from that app and if because I have that I don't really need anything else but before I found bands in town I just pretty much checked Ticketmaster.nl like every week to see what was new and which shows had been announced. Ticketmaster is where you can buy pretty much tickets for all concerts, I believe, especially if they're located in those four Amsterdam concert venues. Um, you can get tickets from sort of resell websites, but I don't really trust them. I would rather just buy the um, like first-hand ticket and it's also important to note that certain Ticketmaster will announce or write when the tickets will go on sale. There's an exact time uh, and an exact date so you want to be there before and you want to keep refreshing so you're in the line um, to buy those tickets because otherwise if it's a high demand artist or band then it will sold, sell out really fast. So. Let's talk about when you need to be there. I feel like there's this rule with concerts that you want to be there at least an hour early or half an hour early. Um, I would say that you need to be aware of who your act um, sort of focuses on, like who their fan base are. Um, for example, when I watched Billie Eilish and I watched Shred Melklech, um, that line was the longest line that I'd ever had to wait in. It was kind of horrifying, to be honest. It was so long, and Melchior doesn't have... It has a very short, like, in front of the venue type of waiting line, but you basically have to wait on the side of the street, and I wait, waited there for a very long time. Um, so if it's one of those acts that you know has a large following, then you may want to be careful about that, especially at places like Paradiso and Melkweg. However, because Paradiso tends to sort of go with the more alternative um, acts, I found that their audience is much more relaxed and they usually just come like 10 minutes before the show anyway. Every single time I've gone to Paradiso, I always end up in the very front because people come very late and I'm always early. Um, with Melkweg and Paradiso, there's also no numbered seats. Um, Melkweg has like a second sort of flooring with railing, but you have to stand up. And I've never been up there, so I don't know what the view is like, but in my opinion, if you can get a good enough spot, then it should be fine. Should be fine downstairs, at least. Um, and in Paradiso, yeah, I would also recommend standing down stairs, but there are seats upstairs if you need them. Um, you can also get drinks at both places and you there's like a bar. I do believe with Malkbach you need to get like a wristband if you want alcoholic drinks. I don't know how that works because I've never ordered one at Malkbach, um, but they have all kinds of sodas as well if that's not your choice of beverage. Um, and then at Zygodome and at Afas, so Zygodome has numbered seats whereas Afas does not. Afas is sort of like a bigger paradiso. You can sit but that's all the way in the back of the hall. So I recommend standing um, if that's possible for you. And they do have the two, like the classic two screens where you can see the artist's face, I believe. Um, so it's not too bad there, even if it is such a huge venue. And with Zygodome, they usually have a stage A and a stage B. Um, and they have like 
the larger sections that are more expensive sit like sitting on the floor and then sitting up that goes you know the seats that like slant upwards um, yeah but they also have two screens and sometimes the artists even have like extra screens on the stage but that's depending on that and at Ziggo Dome it's also important to note that they have food they have drinks and whatever but you do have to pay with these mm, chips that you buy at like sort of an ATM machine but for chips so I would recommend instead of bringing like cash you just bring your card because then you can um, interchange it and you can also I believe like give it back and then get your money back if you're not going to use it but you can use it for at least two months so if you have consecutive concerts you can still bring those chips and then treat it in the next time you're there it's also probably good to note because I always stress about dinner and usually concerts are after dinner um, at Leitzeplein where there's Malkwek and Paradiso there are a lot of fast food restaurants and just sort of general normal Dutch cafes um, they have things like Burger King, McDonald's pizza places, walk places, down that road if you just go um, straight after coming out of the tram. Um, whereas at Ziggo or um, Afas at the arena area, they have the more like actual restaurant restaurants where you can order full meals. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, you can also pre-eat outside. I would think it's probably cheaper anyway. Um, and since in Zigo especially you have numbered seats, you don't really have to line up unless you're there for like a meet and greet. Um, you'll be fine because no one's gonna take your seat anyway since you have your tickets. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Um, leave a comment down below if you have any more questions, but I hope you decide to try out concerts because they're the best. I feel like everybody already knows that. I don't need to give you that piece of wisdom. <laughs> it's a universal piece of wisdom. And yeah, I don't know which one my favorite is. I always enjoy my time whenever I go to Malkweg, but Ziggo is sort of just a high quality, high paid um, experience that is unlike any other so yeah it really doesn't matter which tier you go at you're gonna have a great experience either way and I wish you all the best on your future musical endeavors and that's it from me I'll see you in the next one bye